What about a tool that can create a world um, that you can edit in one click? And that world includes hexes, their contents, towns, cities, the people who live there, the food in the pubs, um, the dungeons, the Denzians of those dungeons, factions, and is a VTT. And you can play around with it for free. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Hex Roll 2.0. It's just out. Um, I used to love the original one. This one is even better. So let's just jump in. Um, right. So the first thing I'm going to say is if you're going to have a play around with it, you know, be gentle because um, it's still in the beta phrase, but it's freaking amazing. Um, as soon as I saw this, I immediately signed up for the Patreon um, and it's well worth it. I'm going to click roll a sandbox. I'm not going to roll one here because I've got one already rolled, but you literally just select the details that you want, the kind of terrains, dungeons. And as I say, don't like put overload on the server by going absolutely nuts, but, and then you just hit generate and it will generate and I will show you what it generates. Um, if I jump back in here, here's a kingdom. It doesn't look impressive there, but as you zoom in, it gets more and more better. Rawr, rawr. Um, so you, you've got all the different areas of the kingdom. Um, and then as you zoom in further, you can see villages, towns, and all that sort of stuff. So let's jump in. Let's just jump into a tip village here. Here's a village. Okay. As soon as you jump in, it gives you a name of the village, which is cool. Um, when you jump in, it gives you a map of the village, which is awesome. And every little red dot can be interacted with. Here it gives you all the services that are break down, the guards, who's in there. So if we, for example, go to those flower shops, all that kind of stuff. But if we go to a, what have we got here? A tavern. Um, so here is uh, a tavern. The owner of the tavern is the Lulia White Hall. Gives you a description of them. Um, gives you the staff that work there um, and descriptions of them. The drinks that are there. Um, it gives you the food that you can get in the pub or the tavern. Um, how much it costs to stay there, the patrons. Now, the patrons here that you don't get details on, they're because they have a shop and they're actually normally in their shop. Um, it's just amazing. And this is just a little town. Another awesome thing if you're running an open kind of table is it has bulletin boards of jobs um, that you can give to your players like and rumor tables. Um, and those rumor tables, again, all interlink. So to like, for example, this is Cyrus Durrell's wife. Um, to the person and it gives you kind of more information on them, which is absolutely awesome, right? I'm gonna zoom out and as you zoom out, it kind of like changes the, the scale, which is amazing. But um, let me show you something else here. I'm gonna click into a random hex here. In that hex, if you are traveling through it, it gives you a little description of what's in there. Butterflies and bees hop from flower to flower. There's two tarantellas wandering in the terrace fields, two and six chance of encountering them. Gives you the AC and stuff. Now it's old school AC, so it's easy for you to change it if you want also gives you the weather for that hex. Um, so I'm going to jump out of the kingdom scale here. So you've got this little um, menu at the top, which is kind of a, a um, what they call breadcrumb menu. Gives you information on the kingdom. The kingdom is in blissful equilibrium. Um, it gives you information about the king, all that kind of stuff. And again, with all of this stuff here, you can edit it. I'm going to hit this little button here. You can go in and you can change it. Let me, and you can change the details of it. And then you can save it and it will be there for you. Um, especially now you get to keep your stuff there for a month, but if you're a patron, it's there forever for you. So like, that's awesome. I want to show you another couple of quick things here um, because I think you're going to have the most funds when you're playing with it. So I'm going to just hit this and discard what I've done. Right. I'm going to zoom in. Um, so you've got all the different regions. Oh, oh, one other thing as well. If I zoom out, uh, let me click on something. Um, no, thanks. So if I jump back to here, as you go down, it will give you the factions that it's created as well. And there's people in all the different towns that belong to these factions. So you can go jump to a faction and it will take you to its headquarters. This one's headquarter is in the Hunter's Sword Tavern. Um, and it gives you all the members, where they are in the world, the collaborators, collaborators, and what they're looking to do. Now, again, I'd advise with this, when you go in, you go in, you give your cults a little bit more, or, um, or, or you give these a little bit more flavor um but you've literally got a campaign you could just start running off the bat with next to no prep um and it's a vtt let me just quickly show you a dungeon and then we'll show you the vtt in fact let's jump out here okay i'm going to show you the vtt side of stuff so here's a hex thing your players don't get to see that if we click down here and we go to share we get a little um 
the URL. I'm going to switch to a two screen view here and I'll jump across to, uh, let me go across here. Um, and if I stick in this, we should get hopefully connected. So again, this is beta. Um, honestly, if you start using this, make sure you subscribe. It's like two quid for a month for Patreon. It's super worth it. Okay, so we're connected. Players can see nothing because I haven't revealed anything to them. So if I jump back to my other screen here, um, and you'll be able to see what happens as I go. So um, basically I hit space bar to space bar F and T. So I've got to remember those keys. Um, so if I go to here and I go space bar, you can see everything's darked out. When I hit that, it starts to get revealed to the player. So let's reveal a few hexes. Okay, um, let me zoom in on the player screen. Okay, so as I zoom in, you can see what's there. Okay, now let me pop back. Um, if I go to them, so that screen and I do that again, you start to reveal the other bits that are there, which is just absolutely awesome. Um, now let me uh, do a little dungeon. So there's a dungeon here, right? I'm going to click on there and it's going to take me in there. It's going to give me some information about the dungeon. Um, it will give me where the different entrances are. So I can either just jump straight into the dungeon or if I reveal one of these things to the players, um, I can go to the stairs leading down to area one. I'm going to click that it will immediately zoom me into area one of this dungeon as a DM. Now the players don't get to see that because I haven't placed them there yet. Um, so yeah, um, and you can then just kind of click your way through it. So if I uh, quickly jump back, so I think it's T for tokens. Um, so let me reveal some bits to the players. And uh, I think I need to add a token. I do think it's T for tokens. What was it again? Yes. Okay. So you've got a choice of light or not light. Um, I'm going to add some light there so, they, so the player can see it. And if we jump back to the player's thing, the player doesn't see too much now. But if they zoom in to the dungeon, they will now see what that thing set, what, what that player sees. And they can move around the token, uh, which is super cool. Now they will only see as far as you've unreve unveiled, unrevealed on the other map. So I can go here and um, reveal more of here. And if I jump back to the player, they should now be able to walk and they can spin their little token around and get to the door. Okay, if you're running this as a dungeon, you, you would literally just click on the next door room and this will update. It will give you an idea of which doors are stuck and which doors are barricaded. Um, gives you a little description. It's things from experiment here. There are a few burnt marks on the ground. Um, and like this is how you can effectively get around the dungeons, which is absolutely amazing. Here, there's a ghoul in this room here. Um, it gives you the hit dice. You can knock stuff off, gold hordes. It's absolutely astonishing um, how good this thing is. Um, I, I think it's... I think it's absolutely amazing. So, uh, and then as you zoom out, it basically takes you back back to this map. You can create more worlds, more kingdoms. You can, re oh, oh, here's a cool stuff. So uh, if I go to a, another hex, it gives me this information here. Say I want to edit this. Um, I don't like the stuff that's there. Um, I'm gonna hit this little button here and I can re-roll that hex. There we go, we've got a new hex. And then when I'm happy, um, sorry, I can edit it, I can make changes, um, and yeah, it's um, it's absolutely fantastic. I think, and I'm, I'm actually seriously thinking of doing this, um, I think you could actually roll one of these, have a little read round, throw a party in, and just let them go. Um, there are things to find everywhere, and then you just update your stuff as you go. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a dice roller, but you could roll that on Discord easy enough. So, yeah, I am absolutely blown away at how good this thing is. I, I love the last one. Now, here's another thing as well. Is if Even if you just wanted a village, right, if I jump back here. Um, so, say you just wanted a village, and I jump to, to this village here. Um, oh, sorry, that's a tavern. Um, you now have a tavern and the food 
and everything within a few seconds. And you can download that and stick in to in a VTT of your choice. You can probably print it. Um, you have all that information there. You've got a bunch of NPCs that people or potential hirelings. Um, it's super cool. So, um, oh, let me just show you the scale of some of this stuff here. Here's a city. Okay. Um, it gives you an idea of who, who runs the city. Uh, it's ruled by a correct power hungry Baron Slavanus Zafara. Um, and is known for his annual horse show. Again, you can edit all this stuff to make it fit as you want. This is the size of the city. This, the city maps are provided by Watabu. You can actually click on any of the things directly. Um, gives you all the taverns, first of all, and all the other stuff you can get there. So within here, there is um, uh, an exotic goods store. Um, there is kind of like you can a hatter, uh, which gives you a price of hats. And again, you can update these and a tavern again with everything unique on it. Um, yeah, I actually think you could take this and within an hour be running a game and your game would need practically zero prep because whenever you hit into a new hex, um, you're getting three white dragons are foraging across a bottomless chasm. There's two and six chance you might see them. Um, you've got stuff there that will build story that your players can riff off. Um, and once you get used to finding your way around it, you could run an open world campaign with practically no prep. And again, when you want to tweak it, just update it and save the stuff there. So um, this is, for me, possibly one of the best tools I've ever seen. Um, and again, it's just the beta phase. So go to their Patreon. It's two pounds a month to support them. You can play with this for free. Um, if you are going to play with it, again, don't try and break it because obviously storage costs money. And these whoever's made this, given us this gift, um, has spent so much of their time and money on it that um, that we need to support them the best way we can. And um, yeah, enjoy this tool. I will probably come back to this as I get to know it better. Um, and yeah, um, hope you enjoy that video. And I'll leave links below for where to support them. And yeah, um, if you want any, if there's anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Catch you later. Bye.